we do have some other news for you now. Only on K2, the son of a suspect arrested in connection with a home invasion robbery of Columbia Sportswear's Gert Boyle claims there's no way his father was involved. K2's Adam Gassimi is in Oregon City where the latest suspect appeared in court for the first time. And Adam, you actually spoke with the son of one of the three suspects and he says there's no way they were all involved. Yeah, Dev, he says there is absolutely no way the two latest suspects, his father and his father's friend, could be involved in this crime against Gert Boyle in any way, shape, or form. But tonight, investigators do not agree, charging all three men now with very serious Measure 11 crimes. He seemed like a really nice guy. That's how 19-year-old Marcio El Salvador remembers Nestor Gabriel Caballero hanging around his dad's Beaverton car repair shop. He says Caballero, his father, Ramon Medense, and Jose Arivalo are all friends. Family members tell me Medense and Caballero knew each other for years, since 1999. And Medense even helped Caballero set up a food cart here in the parking lot of his Beaverton auto repair shop. Westland police arrested Caballero last week for allegedly tying up Columbia Sportswear's Gert Boyle and holding her at gunpoint before taking off with money and jewelry. Now his father, Medense, and Arivalo, who was in court today, are also being tied to the attack. El Salvador says his father gave Caballero a ride to West Lynn and even saw the fruit basket and copy of Boyle's book police say Caballero used to approach Boyle before forcing his way into her home. He had a duffel bag, I guess, with the fruit of baskets. So he came back and he asked my dad for a ride. My dad asked him where he was going. He said a party. But he says that's where his father's involvement stops. So yeah. you think your dad drove him to go assault Gert Boyle, but really had no idea where he was going? Yes, that's how we see it. Because he, he didn't know, and he says that they were cut to the corner of a house, and gave her, said, oh, drop me off right here, right here's fine. I mean, do you think your dad would have ever gone along with it if he knew that uh, Caballero was going to assault Mrs. Boyle? No, because he knows about us. He, he's never done anything to hurt us, nothing to humiliate us or anything. And all three men will stay in jail for the time being. Arivalo, who appeared in court today, will go to trial in January. Caballero will be back in court tomorrow. And Medense, who we just heard from his son there, will be back in court next week as his family tonight says it's all a misunderstanding. We're live in Oregon City tonight. Adam Gassini, K2 News. Adam, thank you.